Alright, welcome to the Webster Grove School District 8th grade science foundations unit goal one video notes. The goal, the learning goal is students will be able to measure in metric units and label units correctly. So the metric system, what is it? How does it work? To get the metric system uh, we need to understand first, like why why do we use it at all? Okay, uh, we use it because it is an incredibly easy system to convert. To prove that point, take a look at this. Okay, now who takes into account or remembers that there are sixty three thousand three hundred sixty inches per mile? Probably not very many people, but a little easier to remember that there are a hundred thousand centimeters in a kilometer if you had to for some reason but it's also easy to convert because we're all we're always just working with powers of 10 so metric system what is it well metric system is all the units that we see here in this word cloud in blue the units that are in gray are the imperial or the English system. A second reason why we use the metric system in science is it is the international system. So scientists all over the world use the metric system. Thus, we are going to use it in our classroom when we are doing science. So those are the two biggest reasons measurements. There are uh, five different measurements that we are going to use in this class and maybe a few others but these are, are the main ones. The first one is weight. Next is volume, mass, density, and length. So what are these? Well weight is a measurement of the force of gravity on an object. So I mean, this is going to change depending on what planet or wherever you are in the universe. Um, the weight on the moon is going to be different than the weight on Earth. And so weight is the measurement of that force on an object. The measurement of the force pulling objects to the center of the planet. Okay, Volume is measuring the amount of space that an object takes up. Uh, when you think about this, think about, you know, when you jump into a pool. Wherever you are in that pool, water is not. And so you are taking up space in that pool. Um, so that's volume. Mass is the measure of an amount of matter. What is matter? Matter is what everything is made of. Solids, liquids, gases are all made of matter. Anything that's not matter is energy. So matter is matter is everything. Um, mass measures matter. Now mass would not change depending on what planet you are on because you can never really change the amount of stuff or the amount of particles that are inside of you. Okay. Um, so that is mass. For density, density is combining two units of measurement. Density is an amount of matter, so that's mass, in a space, which is volume. Okay, so it is a mass in a volume. Um, density is how closely together that matter is packed. Um, so matter that is tightly packed has a high density matter that is loosely packed has a lower density. Length, the distance between two points. Now we had a discussion in class the difference between distance and length really I mean and in some cases they're they're kind of interchangeable and it's hard to um, you know kind of differentiate how length and distance are are different but always a good discussion next the measurement units with each one okay so this is a continuation of the diagram weight 
the measurement unit will be newtons or pounds. Volume, the measurement unit in metric, is liters. You may have seen like, you know, a two liter bottle of soda. Hopefully you didn't drink it all by yourself, but you've, you've seen them, okay? Grams, you may have seen grams on packages of food or, um, yeah, mostly that's where we see them, okay? Grams is the unit for, for mass that we will use. Density, remember it's combining two types of measurement. It is mass over volume. Oftentimes in class it will be grams over milliliters or it will be grams over cubic centimeters. A cubic centimeter is the same amount of space as a milliliter. The unit for length that we will use is predominantly meters or sometimes centimeters and even sometimes millimeters okay but meters is kind of the base unit okay next what do we got we got metric conversion okay easier than than you think conversion big word but conversion not hard okay one meter if you've seen a meter stick is 100 centimeters we we should know that we should be able to you know get to that quickly one meter is 100 centimeters so if there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter, how many millimeters are in a meter? That could be a tongue twister. Try and say that 10 times fast. Never mind, don't do that. Okay, well, a thousand millimeters is going to equal one meter, okay? Um, so quick math, if you have two meters, how many centimeters would that be? Hopefully you said 200. Same kind of math. If you have two meters, how many millimeters would that be? You guessed it, 2,000. Okay. So, an easier way. That was kind of the the math way. There's some different things you can do uh, with fractions, but most often in science class, in eighth grade, we're going to use the step chart. Okay. So, the base unit. This can be grams, this could be meters, this could be liters. It's just whatever you are measuring. If you're measuring mass, then grams, volume, then liters. Um, if you're measuring length, then, then meters. So it really depends on what you're measuring. But let's say you start out five grams. So grams is going to be right here. And you want to go to centigrams centigrams is over here so that is one two steps to the right am I right yes I'm right so we need to move the decimal point one two places to the right so let's do that here we go one two and we're done what do you mean we're done I mean that's the answer that's how easy it is okay we can do that the other one 2.7 millimeters to kilometers. Whoa, that's a lot of steps. Yeah, it's okay. So millimeters is here. Kilograms or kilometers way up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six places. What direction are we going? We're going to the left. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're done. Yes, that's how easy it is, okay? Try some practice for yourself. Pause the video. Try 8 kilograms is equal to how many grams? Then try 3 decimeters is equal to how many millimeters? Then try 4.2 liters is equal to how many hectoliters? If you have questions about these problems, come see me in the morning and we'll help you out. All right, that is it for our notes for goal one and foundations units.